It's a good thing that people around the world have a bit of a preoccupation with trying to make themselves look younger. Because whether or not you believe in that, the fact of the matter is it creates a market opportunity for people to produce products that can help in that process. And this, folks, is absolutely one of the very best anti-aging products you could find. How's it guys? I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. I'm in the hot, dusty bush of Matabeliland North, and I'm standing next to this tree. This, if you're from the east of Zimbabwe, you would call it Nengeni. Uh, if you're from the west of Zimbabwe, where I'm standing now, you probably call it Ntunduluka. I call it the sour plum Ziminia Kafra. And this is one in my ongoing series of underutilized plants that I believe have huge potential as smallholder crops. So Ziminia Kafra is a shrubby tree uh, covered in thorns, got some quite sharp thorns that produces this little red fruit. They're little round red fruits and they're called sour plums for a reason. They are very sour. But they do have a seed and inside that seed is an oil and that oil has pretty remarkable properties. The, the fruit are traditionally eaten, they are sour, you can also dry them, pound them, mix them into porridge, so a lot of different, make them into beverages, a lot of different traditional uses associated with it. Also quite a lot of medicinal uses associated with this plant, but it's the oil that really makes it commercially interesting. So you can extract the oil by the traditional method where you take the kernel out from the nut and you boil it up with some water and then the oil rises to the surface, you scoop it off. That's how it's traditionally done, particularly common in northern Namibia where communities have for many, a very long time used it in skin care and hair care. It's much loved by women, particularly in the hot climate where the hair gets dry, fantastic moistening product. But the, the sort of more uh, modern industrial way to do it is through an oil press, cold pressing, and removing that oil. That, that oil is, you can see the second it comes out, it's unusual because it's very, very sticky. If you put your fingers into the oil and spread them apart, you get this long kind of mucous membrane between your fingers and you look at that, you think that is something different. That oil has got a compound in it called ziminenic acid. Ziminenic acid is remarkable for its ability to stimulate microcirculation in your skin through a process called vasodilation. It causes uh, the blood to flow a little bit more freely around your skin and that's very good for your skin. It's just feeding nutrients to the skin, making the skin look healthier, brighter, younger. Very good for fleshing out wrinkles. Goodness knows I could use some myself. And it's a wonderful ingredient. Cosmetics companies around the world are looking for it. One of the things with this tree is it's not found in big dense groves. So you find one here, you find one there. So really the best way for this to be commercialized would be for it to be farm grown, perhaps as an agroforestry species, intercropped with other crops. And that would be an amazing opportunity for smallholder farmers. So that's it guys, another top tip on how to make yourself look a little bit younger. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have plenty more on my YouTube channel, Facebook and Instagram, and if you really like what I'm doing, you can support me by going to a site called Patreon, dot com forward slash African plant hunter and basically if you pledge the price of a cup of coffee a month or whatever it will help me to do my job. So I look forward to getting out and showing you more indigenous plants that I believe have great potential as smallholder crops. I'm off into the bush to do some more plant hunting. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.